in this video we are going to see about the binary adder so the previous videos what we have seen is half adder and full adder where half adder will add two bits and full adder will add three bits that's what we have seen it is not just adding of two bit three bit is enough number of uh, more than two uh, that is a, a word will consist of more than one bit two bits isn't it so for example uh, it is consider we have a like this a and b say we have values like this now what we have seen in half adder is how to add these two bits that's all what we have seen in full adder is when you add these two say for example one we have one then one one plus one it is zero and then here comes one one plus one plus one plus it is one one so when you add one plus zero it is one and carry is zero okay how to add these three bits that's all that is what we have seen in full adder so a half adder will add only when i say two bits only these two bits okay when i say three bits only these three bits right not the uh, four bit four bit addition or eight bit when uh, when it consists of more than four bit like this okay and then in uh see a consists of four bits and b consists of four bits sometimes a will consist of eight bits 16 bits and b also consists of respective eight bits and 16 bits how to add them simultaneously parallelly so for that we have to go for binary adder and we call them as a parallel adder okay when you add like this it is called binary addition and how to achieve that by seeing the addition itself you can say for the addition of first two number first two bit you need a half adder after that you will be having carry whether it is one or a zero that is that is a carry so here from here on you have three bit addition so for all these things you need a full adder so one half adder and three full adder right that is what needed but in this picture what we have done is we have used all the thing as full adder instead of full adder you can have a half adder here say for example here if you take this see one let me take this example itself one 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 and one where this is nothing but a zero okay bit zero the bit and this is a one and this is a two and this is a follow same way when you write this 0 0 1 1 this is b0 b1 b2 and b3 respective position so that is what we are passing here a0 and b0 we are passing here so that the first full adder will add us naturally it has three inputs okay c in is the third input for that we have to pass zero here right so here we will pass 1 and 1 is then you will be adding so, so all these things when these are added you will have 1 plus 1 it is sum is 0 and there will be a carry called 1 okay that will be given as an input for the next full adder what is the next data 1 and 1 again here 1 and 1 so 1 plus 1 plus 1 it is nothing but 1 1 so sum will be 1 and carry will be 1 the next is 1 and 0 a is 1 and b is 0 So when you add these three bits, you have zero as the sum and one as the carry. Then a three here one and zero. In this case, you have this, this, and the three inputs. So one plus one it is zero, and you have the carry as output. When you join this LED, just like that, how we have seen in the previous one, you you join an LED or output, you can see the output. You can catch the output here zero. One zero zero and one. So this is how uh, you can parallelly add the bits by using the binary adder. So when you want to add more number of bits, naturally you have to go for this 
hundred and add, where you will be using the number of uh, uh, how many number of uh, bits you want to add. That much number of full added you have to use. Here we have used four. We are adding two four bits, so we use a four full adder. If you are going to add eight bits, then you need an eight full adder. 